Hi guys, I'm Becky and I'm a third year psychology student at Lancaster. I'm filming this video just to tell you a little bit about my three years at the uni. So in October of 2017, I moved to Lancaster. I moved up from Leeds and I remember I was so, so nervous and both my parents dropped me off and I remember seeing them leave and it really dawned on me. I'm in a different city. I don't know anyone here. I am so scared. <laughs> but it was okay because my flatmates were really nice and you have freshers reps who just guide you through absolutely everything. They really encourage you to hang out as a flat and go to different parties and meet new people and do things during the day like going to the shops together, going to explore town together, um, or just hanging out in the kitchen. I feel like the first year you spend a lot of time with your friends in the kitchen of your flat and it's great. <laughs> freshers week is definitely one of the weirdest experiences you will ever have. And you spend an entire week with people you've just met. It's basically just a week to get used to the town, and just experience everything Lancaster has to offer. So you definitely go on a lot of nights out, if that's your sort of thing. You don't have to, there's no pressure. You spend a lot of time exploring the city. Really get to know your college as well, which is great. The college will put on different events like barbecues and little assemblies where they tell you what uh, your college is about. They definitely teach you a lot of chants about the other colleges because there's sort of some college rivalries which gets shouted about on buses and where's tonight's out it's very fun you really get a very quick feel for the atmosphere it's really nice if you don't like going out or drinking there is plenty of stuff to do there's lots of societies to join like baking or disney or there's even sports ones if you're interested in that one good way to make friends on your course is to join the society for your subjects so we have psych up and they did lots of theme nights out it was really fun and also just events where you all get to meet each other so definitely in your first year you spend a lot of time going to dress up nights out if that's your sort of thing I wouldn't worry about having full costumes, everyone gets a little bit creative. Here is me and my friend dressed as pandas for the Psych Society where we all had to dress as something beginning with the letter P. Another thing with Psych Sock is the Psych Sock Pub Quiz, which is one of my favourite social events of the year. Anyone who does psychology is welcome to come along. You buy a ticket for a pound and you get a free drink and some chips. You and your friends and a lecturer all form like a pub quiz team and everyone does a pub quiz and it's really fun and the winner gets a certain amount of money. In terms of academics, I did really struggle in first year at the start because it's such a step up from A levels and it's a completely different way of learning. I remember getting my first essay grade back and being quite disappointed because I hadn't done as well as I was used to doing at A levels, but I, I sort of realised it was because it was a completely different way of writing that I'd only just learnt how to do. So by the time the second assessment came round, um, I'd sort of understood the, the new way of writing and the new style. And, definitely done a little bit better. One thing I did struggle with in terms of academics was stats. I found that really hard. It's a big step up from the maths I was used to in high school. I never took maths at A level. So I found statistics in first year super hard, really hard. I remember going to the classes and just not having a clue what was going on. It just went completely over my head. The good thing was there was so much support there and so much support available from lecturers and online resources and like extra classes you could go to so they sort of really build up your knowledge that everyone's at the same level. There wasn't too much coursework in first year. This is all the coursework I had to do and I only had one exam. One of the really cool things about first year is you also get to take a minor which is like another subject that you do sort of half the modules for alongside your major. So I did media and cultural studies. I think I had four essays and also an exam at the end of the year. I think one of my favourite memories of first year is just Christmas, everything to do with Christmas, where I remember we decorated our house and we went on a Christmas night out where they just played Christmas music the entire night and it was great. <laughs> I remember we did a big secret Santa with everybody who lived um, in our block of flats. I remember our flat all bought advent calendars and we had our own like little Christmas parties and we tried to make flat meals and things like that. I would say first year is the year to really try different things and make the most of your free time because there's less work to do, it's less academically intense. There's a yearly competition against York Uni called Roses. I went in my first year, I was lucky enough to go for the whole weekend and it was absolutely amazing. We got to cheer on our friends who were competing from the sidelines. You basically spend the entire day just watching sports and 
having a drink and enjoying yourself and being with your friends and now nights out there's massive celebrations especially on the last day we did win in my first year so everyone was very excited one of my favourite memories of first year was the end of term extra, which are basically big outdoor parties that each college hosts and they're ticketed events and they all have different themes. I went to Grisdale Extra and Finesse Extra. Grisdale was Surf Strav, which was like a beach theme. Everyone got dressed up. There was like beach balls and sharks and like inflatable things everywhere. It was so fun and they had different bands and DJs playing and it really is just a brilliant way to end your year. I also went to Finesse Extra, which was Lost College. It had lots of forest themed things and themed drinks. Just get to have a huge party with all of your new friends and it's lovely. I remember just not being ready to go home at the end of first year. I loved it so much. So when I had to say goodbye to all my friends, I remember we all played Uno outside Grystone Bar. I remember feeling a bit sad because I just got used to living by myself. Um, and I wasn't going to see all these amazing people for like a few months but it made me really excited to come back for second year. Second year was really different to first year. I actually moved into town so I didn't live on campus anymore and our house was so nice that I stayed there for second and third year and I absolutely loved it. I lived there with three of my friends and it was right next to a fish and chip shop on Williamson Park so it was really in the best place. In terms of academics, second year was so much harder than first year. There was a lot more deadlines, I'll show you them here. Alongside all the deadlines, the content was a lot more difficult as well. Again, there was a lot of support, so if you didn't understand anything, there was always someone you could ask. The summer term exams were a mixture of essays and multiple choice questions. I think there were five exams in total. Alongside doing exams and coursework, we had to figure out our topic for a dissertation. So we had to pick a supervisor and design an experiment and also write an ethics application all at the same time. <laughs> I remember because we had so much work to do, um, we definitely had a lot more nights in than we did nights out. At Halloween we decorated the house and we had a fancy dress party for my birthday and everyone really went for it so it was really fun. We were equally enthusiastic at Christmas, again turned the house into a Christmas grotto. We had our own Christmas party and ordered dominoes. We also went ice skating in town and to the little teepee next door where they do like mulled wine and mulled cider. It was very festive. My friends from Hong Kong spent Christmas with me and my family so that was really lovely. One of my friends who'd been on a year abroad also came to visit at Christmas which was amazing. I had a lot of nights in with friends where we'd make pizza or watch movies and have sleepovers. So I spent a lot of time in the park when the weather was nice and we'd also go to Casper's in town for dessert. We also spent a lot of time in Grystale Bar with the most amazing cocktails. We did the Sykes Hot Pub quiz again and we did not win. <laughs> I remember in first term me and my friends tried some new societies and uh, we did ballroom dancing a few times and sign language society which was really cool. We quickly realised we did not have enough time to continue with them in second term but the experience was still fun. I spent a lot of my second year working because I wanted to save some money. I had a few different jobs. I worked as an open day ambassador through summer and became a psychology student ambassador in first term. It just involved showing parents and prospective students around and answering any questions. It was really fun. In first and second term, I actually worked at the Sugar House as a bartender, um, which was really fun. But I did end up quitting because I was struggling to get to lectures with all the late nights. Alongside this, I was also making videos for the uni YouTube channel and lots of social media posts as a digital content ambassador. I absolutely love this job and I had some really good experiences in second year and worked on a lot of really fun projects like the LU Footprints YouTube series I worked on with my friend Chelsea and the National Student Survey Takeover which I did with Chelsea and Mooney. That was really fun, we basically got to eat a lot of free food. <laughs> April that I applied for a job at Grisdale Bar which I still do now and I absolutely love it. It was really fun learning how to make all the different cocktails and the people who work there are the loveliest people. I really enjoyed it and I would recommend a visit to anyone who likes a good coffee and cake. Some of my favourite memories of second year are definitely from the end of term after my exams. We went to Lancaster Pride which was amazing. It was such a fun day, the weather was really nice and there was so much to see and do. My friends and I also volunteered at Animal Care in town which is a rescue place for cats and dogs and that was so fun. We definitely got to see a lot of really cute animals and we got to take dogs on walks and just pet a lot of cats. It's definitely worth a visit if you haven't been already. 
We went to Extrav again. This time we went to Lonsdale Extrav, which had a Candyland theme. Everyone got dressed up again, and there were so many props and candy floss machines. It was amazing. It was definitely the best way to finish what had been a really academically difficult year. After Extrav, we had a big goodbye party for some friends who were going on a year abroad or taking a year out, and then I went back to Leeds for summer. I was definitely a little bit drained from all the hard work I'm putting in second year, but again, I was excited to come back my third year. So I stayed in the same house for my third year at uni, which was really nice. And I spent most of my first term of third year in the file building running my experiment for my dissertation. There was a lot of long days and a lot of meetings with my supervisor, Jared, but I got so much support and Jared was really great. We also got to pick a lot of different modules in our third year, which were a lot more specific than the ones we'd done before. I did Lion Brain, which was a neuroscience module about hallucinations and delusions. The Psychology of Meditation, which is one of my favourites because we get to meditate in the seminars. I also did Prozac Nation, which is a psychopharmacology module. I also did Social and Clinical Psychology too. I had quite a lot of coursework in my third year. I had five essays and two presentations. I'm still finishing some of them from home now with everything going on with COVID-19. Our grade actually will be just coursework based because we don't have exams anymore. So for work, I carried on my job as a digital content ambassador. I also stayed on at Brightdale Barty. I did some really fun projects for the uni. I again did the NSS takeover with my friend Charlotte and we got to eat a lot of food. <laughs> I also had a really good time working on a video with my friend Charlotte and Rachel about the best places to study on campus. I wanted to get some more things to add to my CV so I volunteered with Nightline in first term which is a really brilliant mental health charity on campus. I also worked a few applicant visit days and open days again with the psychology department. Between shifts and deadlines, I did spend a lot of time with my friends. We had a lot of fancy dress nights out this year. <laughs> again, we all went out for Halloween and Christmas. We went ice skating again and for mulled cider in the little teepee, it was very festive. I think my favourite memory from this year was in first term, we went to a pumpkin patch, which was amazing. You could buy different pumpkins and then we went home and carved them. I and mean, it really fit in with our little Halloween grotto we've been creating in our house. We also finally managed to win the Sykes Hot Pub Quiz. We were so happy. It was the best way to finish third year, just knowing we'd won what we'd wanted to win all this time. We spent a lot of time in file bar between lectures and after lectures. We also became regular customers at the Toby Carberry in Markham. Um, one of the ways actually started to recognize me because we went so often. <laughs> Right now I'm still finishing some essays from home. I'm really sad that my uni experience has been cut short, but graduation has been moved to December, so I'm excited to come back to Lancaster at Christmas. I'm really grateful that I got to experience everything I did in my three years. Lancaster is a really lovely place and it will always have a place in my heart.